In today's tutorial, we shall look at uh, uncertainty in, in measurements. Uh, the number uh, associated uh, with a measurement is obtained using some measuring uh, device. Uh, for example, we can use a burette uh, to measure the volume of um, a liquid. Suppose uh, 20.15 uh, milliliter is the volume uh, read uh, on this burette. Uh, this shows, uh, this simply means that 20.15 uh, uh, milliliter of the liquid has been delivered if the initial volume was at uh, 0. Uh, zero zero uh, milliliter and we take the volume at the bottom uh, meniscus uh, here as you can see it makes this curve the bottom meniscus is here so this is the the volume uh, shown there then uh, 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 note that the last number the last number must be must be estimated uh, must be estimated uh, by interpolating interpolating uh, between between the 0 0.1 milliliter max uh, since the last number is estimated its value may be may be different if another person if another person makes the same measurement so now let's look at uh, uh, suppose five different uh, people read the same volume the results uh, might uh, uh, might might be as uh, as follows so let's look at the uh, results of measurements done by five different uh, people. So person number one, read the volume as 20.15 milliliter to 20.14 milliliter, then 20.16 milliliter, then person four, 20.17 milliliter, then percent five read the volume as 20.16 milliliter. So now, when you analyze these results, uh, you can see that uh, the results show that the first three numbers, 20.1 in this case, is the same. Is the same, uh, re or remains the same regardless of who makes uh, the reading. So the, the number 20.1 is called in certain in digits. Then the number uh, to, the, to the right, to the right of the one must be estimated. This number to the right of the one must be estimated. And this number or this digit it varies since it is estimated so if a different person makes uh, the reading you find that it varies so in this case uh, since the number the last number is estimated these are called uncertain digits so the one that is estimated is called uncertain digits. So when reporting, we usually report a measurement by recording all the certain digits, all the certain digits plus the first uncertain digit. So this is the rule. You record all the certain digits plus the first uncertain 
digit. So it is very important to realize that a measurement always has some degree of uh, uncertainty. So now let's see how we can uh, record uh, the measurements. So one thing you should bear in mind is that uh, certain digits plus first and certain uh, digits is what we call significant significant figures or significant uh, uh, digits. So these numbers are called significant figures of um, a measurement. The uncertainty is the last number. So the last number in this case, 20.15 milliliter, the uncertainty in this case is the last number. This one, this is the uncertainty, the estimated, the estimated number is usually assumed to to be positive or negative one unless otherwise uh, uh, stated uh, for example 1.75 grams 1.75 grams can be taken to mean to mean 1.75 positive or negative 0.01 grams this is what uh, uh, it means. So now let's look at uh, two different, uh, I mean, uh, the volume obtained by two different measuring uh, uh, devices. We are going to look at the pipette, the volume done by uh, taken using a pipette, then the other one uh, using, using a graduated measuring cylinder. So for a pipette, if the volume uh, uh, is recorded as 25.00 milliliter, then uh, another person who used uh, a measuring cylinder recorded the volume as uh, 25 milliliter. Now what is the difference? What is the difference what is the difference between the two measurements? 25.00 milliliter and, and 25. Uh, even though the two volume measurements appear to be equal, they, they really uh, give different uh, 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 information. So the quantity uh, 25, the quantity 25 uh, milliliter, uh, in this case, uh, this could mean uh, the volume is between 24 milliliter and 26 milliliter. So in this case, the uncertainty is positive or negative one. So uh, the uncertainty, the last number, the, uh, so in this case, it means the five is the uncertainty in this case. So this is now positive or negative one. Then uh, the other volume done by a pipette, 25 um, uh, milliliter. So in this case, you can see that the last uh, uh, number here is a zero. So the uncertainty in this case uh, will be positive or negative 0 0.01 milliliter. So in this case now the volume lays uh, between uh, 24.99 milliliter and 25.01 milliliter. So the pipette uh, uh, the, the precision of uh, a, a pipette, uh, the pipette measures the volume with much greater precision than it does the graduated measuring cylinder. So you can see the two volumes, 24, 26, then 24, 
0.99 to 25 and 25.01 milliliter okay so this is how um, the uncertainty in measurement can be uh, can be done so we so normally it just depends on the precision of the measuring device thanks for watching the next tutorial we shall look at uh, precision and accuracy